Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with Miss Abby. Today we will be reading Newton and Curry, The Science Squirrels, written by Daniel Kirk. So let's go grab our favorite stuffy and get settled in for another reading adventure. Newton was sitting under a tree when an apple bounced off his head. Bonk! Why did that apple fall down and not up? He asked himself. From that moment on, the little squirrel began to wonder how the world worked. I wonder why that swing works the way it does, Newton said to his little sister Curry as they watched the children on the school playground. I don't know, said Curry. Let's find some nuts to eat. I'm hungry. Oh, all right, Newton said, but he couldn't stop thinking about the swing. Later that day, Newton jumped up on the swing, the way he'd seen the children do. He sat for a while, wiggling and rocking, but the swing didn't move. What are you doing, asked Curry. Don't you wonder why a swing goes back and forth? Newton asked. Why does it go so high sometimes? And why does it work so easily for the children when it doesn't work for me? Oh, let's not think about that now, Carrie said. Let's play tag. The next day, Newton passed by a classroom window. Today, we'll learn about simple machines, the teacher said. We'll study gravity and force, and we'll learn about experiments. As Newton listened, he had an idea. He decided to try an experiment of his own. Newton looked around his neighborhood until he found what he needed to create his own swing. What are you doing now? asked Curry. I'm testing an idea, Newton said. That's called an experiment. Pumping my legs gives me the force to move forward and see how gravity brings me back down again. I want to try, Carrie said, and she did. What's this? asked a pair of robins who were building a nest in the tree. It's science, says Newton. Curry laughed, and it's fun. The next day, Newton watched some children rocking up and down on the seesaw. He longed to try it for himself. At dusk, he went and sat down on one edge of the board. What are you doing now? asked Curry. Come and sit on the other side, Newton said. We'll do an experiment. Curry sat down, but the board didn't budge. She jumped up and down, but there wasn't enough force to make the seesaw move. The board is too heavy and we don't weigh enough, said Newton. Humans weigh more than squirrels, so they have more mass. Curry frowned. Maybe science isn't for squirrels. In the morning, Newton hurried to the branch above the classroom window. He studied the whiteboard and listened to the teacher explain another simple machine. Newton could see that a lever and a fulcrum looked a lot like a seesaw. That gave him an idea. Newton searched his neighborhood until he found what he needed for a squirrel-sized seesaw. I'll bet you're making something, said Curry. Newton smiled. It's another experiment. The board is a lever which increases the force we need to go up and down. The rock is for balance. It's called a fulcrum. If we put the rock at the center of the board, we can balance our weights on either end. Gravity pulls us down and we use the force of our legs to push off again. Whee, said Curry, it's fun. That does look like fun, said one of the robins. It is, cried Newton. How is your nest? It's all finished, said the bird, and we have four beautiful eggs. You should come and take a look. 
Newton and Curry went to visit the birds in the tree. You're so lucky you can fly, Curry said. Gravity doesn't mean anything to you. Gravity affects everyone, Newton said. The next morning, Newton and Curry went to listen at the classroom window. With a wheel and a rope, the teacher said, you can make a pulley. A pulley makes it easier to lift heavy things. Curry said, if we had something big we had to move, that simple machine would be great. But I can carry everything I need in my own paws. That afternoon, Newton and Curry came to watch the children play, but it was a windy day, so the children stayed indoors. Just as the squirrels turned to go, they heard a terrible cracking sound. A big branch snapped and toppled to the ground. Help, cried the robins, our nest has fallen. Our eggs are all right, the birds cried but we've got to get them back into the tree where they'll be safe. I've got an idea, Newton said. Just wait here. Newton and Curry raced to the classroom window, which was open just a crack. The children were off at lunch, but they could come back any moment. We could use those spools and some string to make a pulley, Newton said. But how are we going to get in there? I've got an idea, said Curry. Let's find a stick to use as a lever and pry the window open so we can get inside. The squirrels found a piece of branch and slid one end into the opening. Then they jumped and jumped on the lever until the window opened, just enough for them to scramble inside and get the supplies they needed. Back in the tree, Newton fit the spool over a small but sturdy branch. Curry bundled the bird's nest into a cloth and tied it to a long piece of strong string. We're making a pulley, Newton said to the birds as he pulled the end of the string up the trunk. We'll use it to get your nest back into the tree. Please be careful, cried the birds. Once he'd wrapped the string around the spool, Newton grasped the free end of the string and jumped from the branch. Gravity pulled him down, but it wasn't good enough. The nest was too heavy. I know what to do, Carrie said, and she jumped onto Newton's back. Together, the two squirrels weighed enough to pull the string to the ground and lift the bird nest into the tree. The robins nudged their nest into a safe place. Our experiment was a success, said Curry. The pulley work, Newton shouted. Soon your eggs will be ready to hatch, said Curry, and your babies will learn to fly. I wonder how flying defies gravity, Curry wondered. Time for a new experiment, Newton said. Science is fun. If you enjoyed the story, Please read the author's note as this book was written about Sir Isaac Newton and Marie Curry, about their studies of experiments and gravity and learning about how the world works. To learn more, feel free to visit these sites provided for more information about science. Thanks for joining us here today at Storytime with Miss Abby. We hope you enjoyed the story and learned a ton about gravity and science. We can't wait for you to come back and visit us again soon. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.